bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The definitions of composite functions It is also possible to take the output values from one function and use them as the input values for another function. This function which are composed in this way are called composite functions or function of a function. So them here refer to the output values. Let's say we have two functions. The first one is fx and second one is gx. We compose f compose gx or we may write this one as fgx meaning that the output values of the function g are used as the input values for the function f. The above statement can be represented in arrow diagram. So here, f compose g, but bear in mind we have to compose start with the g first and then with the f. So what, what the arrow diagram tell us here is, we use x as the input for function g and the output is gx. Second one, we use gx as the input for function f and the outcome is fgx. This is composite function. Similarly, we define g compose fx or we may write as gfx meaning that the output values of the function f are used as the input values for the function g. So the above statement can be represented in arrow diagram below. So this one is G compose F, but we have to compose from F then G. So what does it tell us here? We use X as the input for function F and the output is Fx. For the second function, we use Fx as the input for fun function G and the output is Gfx. So down here we have five nodes. So first node is f compose gx does not equals to fx multiplied by gx. Second node is g compose fx does not equals to gx multiplied by fx. For the third node, f compose fx does not equals to fx square. For the fourth node is f square x does not equal to function square and for the fifth node is f square x equals to f compose f x. Please take note here. The world seems small We can sit together if fx equals to 3x plus 1 and gx equals to 2 minus x, compose a f compose gx, b g compose fx. So we have two functions here. First one is fx, second one is gx. We do question a first. So we need to compose f compose g x well we may rewrite this one as f g x okay. so next step is we substitute the g function which is so f and gx equals to 2 minus x so next one we use 2 minus x as input for function f so this one we should have 3 2 minus x plus 1 
So next step we simplify 6 minus 3x plus 1 Then we simplify this one as 7 minus 3x Done, question 8 Question B we have to compose G compose F X so we rewrite this one as G F X so we use the F X function so this one as G F X is 3 X plus 1 next step is we use 3 X plus 1 as the input for function g, we should have 2 minus 3x plus 1. Next step, we simplify 2 minus 3x minus 1. And this one equals to 1 minus 3x. Done. Example 5.8. Next one is example 5.9. If fx equals to 2x minus 1 and gx equals to x cubed, find the values of a, gf3, b, fg3, and c, f squared 3. So for this question, I realized that our x is all 3. So this one we have 3, this one we have 3, this one we have 3. What I do here is I calculate F3 first. So F3 equals to 2, 3, minus 1. And this one equals to 5. And second one, I calculate G3. So G3 equals to 3 cube. And this one equals to 27. So I'm going to use this value in this value straight away so for question A we have G F3 we write this one as G F3 right so from the previous calculation we know that F3 equals to 5 so this one equals to G 5 and what is G5, so we substitute 5 as the input in the function G, we should have 5 power of 3 and this one equals to 125. That is question A. For question B, we have FG3 and this one equals to, we know that G3 equals to 27. So this one we rewrite first. So F G3. And we know G3 is 27. So this one is F27. So next is we use 27 as the input for function F. So which means 227 minus 1. And this one will give you 53. That is B. Final one is C uh, down here. So C we have F square 3 and this one is equals to F F3. We know that F3 is 5, so this one is F5. And then we use 5 as the input for the function f. This one we should have 2, 5, minus 1. And finally, it gives answer 9. Done. Example 5.9. The functions f and g are defined by fx equals to 2 minus x and gx equals to 3 over x plus 1. x must not be the value of negative 1. 
the first question show that f square x equal to x ok yang pertama sekali tolong ingat eh, please alert that f square x f square x bukanlah dan tidak pernah akan menjadi fx u darabkan dengan fx tolong ingat ini faham? jadi what is f square x? f square x adalah composite f yang dimasukkan dalam f balik ok how do you do the composite? So, kita tengok fx is 2 minus x. So, dia jadi 2 minus fx. Understand? And then, what is fx? fx is 2 minus 2 minus x. Then, dia akan menjadi 2 minus 2 plus x. Dapatlah x. Then, Shown. Seperti yang soalan Require Understand? For B Find the an expression for G square X Same like A What is G square? G square X adalah Right? G masuk dalam G Faham? What is G? X gx is 3 over x plus 1 jadi x to u tukarkan dah jadi gx objek gx tu you tukar jadi gx sebab dia g gx faham and then tak habis lagi ya. seterusnya nah ini kena berhati-hati ok sebab dia akan melibatkan pecahan yang banyak lapis gx again is 3 over x plus 1 the whole thing x plus 1 faham? baik what is the next step? Ha, yang ini you kena focus you kepada yang bawah dahulu kita pergi line by line Alright. samakan penyebut yang bawah atas ni kita salin balik sahaja dia jadi 3 over x tambah 1 x plus 1 over x plus 1 sama ke penyebut faham ini dah sama ke penyebut the next step pecahan asas pecahan ya. you belajar dulu bila penyebut sama you boleh combine dia jadi 3 tambah x tambah 1 over x tambah 1 faham and you permudahkan jadi 3 per X tambah 4 over X tambah 1 ok jadi dia bila pecahan dia tak boleh bahagi jadi step terakhir you kena tukar dia jadi darab bila tukar jadi darab position dia berubah 3 darabkan dengan X tambah 1 over x tambah 4 you switch position yang bawah jadi atas atas jadi bawah ok jadi inilah expression for g square x then you kena jangan lupa x tak boleh negative 4 untuk ini because if x equals to negative 4 you akan dapat invalid function you cannot divide anything with zero not valid do you understand that Together, it's so beautiful you and me we met and one even that fx equals to 2x plus 3 fgx equals to 10x minus 9 find gx ini di mana dia bagi dah composite function you need to find one of the single function ok first of all F G X Ok ni di mana Sekejap eh Kita salin dulu 10 X minus 9 
ini you kena decide di mana uh, function yang you nak cari tu adakah dia dalam objek atau di luar itu ok contohnya ini soalan ini dia suruh cari gx gx di dalam ke di luar g here di dalam sebagai objek jadi bila g bila you kena cari function yang di dalam method dia sebegini you tengok ah ha? jadi you dah ada dah fx fx equals to x plus 3 disebabkan you tukarkan objek dalam bentuk gx you hanya tulis balik 2 gx tambah 3 faham tak tu ditukarkan saja x tu sebagai gx sebab memang dia dah bagi fgx itu and then samakan balik dengan apa yang dia berikan ok jelas step tu baik bila dah jelas you hanya permudahkan saja function 10x minus 9 minus 3 which is 2gx sama dengan 10x minus 12 last kali dapatlah gx sama dengan 10x minus 12 over 2 5x tolak 6 tu sahaja caranya do you understand? Alright, for example 5.12 the function given is in quadratic form Jadi, bila quadratic form untuk memudahkan you you completing the square dahulu ok supaya you lebih mudah untuk kemudian punya step how to complete the square atau penyempurnaan kuasa 2 ok what is it the penyempurnaan kuasa 2 dia akan jadi apa fx akan equal to x square plus 3x right you kena tambahkan dengan b over 2 what is the value of b here 3 over 2 square tolakkan balik dengan 3 over 2 square then minuskan dengan stand then what will you get Okay. So, yang ini, you ambil saja. Macam ni, eh, you bracket square. Ambil je X. Ni ambil saja nilai ini. Tambah 3 over 2. Faham? Yang seterusnya, you hanya kira macam biasa. Baik. Sekarang tinggal X tambah 3 per 2 square tolak 13 per 4 okay. jadi itulah function fx now we go to the question dia bagi fgx equals to x plus 3 so fgx equals to 2x plus 3 what is G, uh, fx here you tukarkan x to objek x sebagai g x faham? baik if bila you dah tukar baru kita permudahkan step by step pindahkan dahulu 13 per 4 tu jadi 2x tambah 25 per 4 sebab 3 tambah 13 per 4 ok bila dah pindahkan baru you boleh you belajar in chapter 1 square you pindahkan ke kanan cos the equal punya sign dia jadi set step by step faham Ha, so the last step easy saja pindahkan saja negative 3 over 2 itu
All right. Understand? Here. Yeah. All the solution. Do you understand the step? The next example, it has been given that fgx equals to 10x minus 9 and then gx equals to 2x plus 3 now this one you need to find the function outside not the inside not the object one outside apa maksud saya fgx sama dengan 10x tolak 9 ha, Sebelum ni you belajar yang dalam ini kan Sekarang you kena cari yang luar ni okay, Bila dia berbeza Apa yang you cari Method dia pun akan berbeza Baik you Untuk kes macam ini How do you do okay, First sekali Disebabkan GX adalah 2x plus 3 Sub Bukan dulu Alright Understand Now Dalam ini Dia mesti single object Bila maksud saya single You kena wakilkan dia sebagai Satu huruf yang lain Saya let Y 2X plus 3 Faham Bila 2X plus 3 2X equals to Y minus 3 I rearranging to get X Perkara rumus Sebab apa? Okay. Sebab kejap lagi bila kita tukarkan ini Sebagai F, Y ha, Nampak? Kena kita dah wakilkan tadi kan? Bila kita tukar in the same time You tak boleh teruskan dengan X Tak balance persamaan tu ha, You tak boleh tu suka-suka saja tukar You kena bagi dia balance in, Sebab itulah wujudnya step ini So ini you ambil saja x 10 y minus 3 over 2 which is 9. It's 9. Now dia akan jadi 5 y minus 3 minus 9. Dan you permudahkan lagi 5y tolak 15 tolak 9. Dapatlah 5y tolak 20. 4. Dah dapat FY sama dengan 5Y tolak 24 Sebab so, soalan tak nak FY Tukarkan saja huruf Y tu Pada huruf X Sebab dah sama dah Ok that's how you solve For this case Do you understand? Right, for example 5.14 If fgx equals to 4x squared minus 2x plus 1 and gx itself is 2x plus 1, the question asks you to find gfx. Okay. How do you find gfx? You have the gx, but you don't have fx. So to find gfx, you need to find fx first. Understand the process. Okay, next process. How do you find fx? It has been given that fgx is equal to 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. Right. Now, the function that you need to find is here, not the object, outside so you kena tukarkan GX seperti yang diberi ok, itu first step now, disebabkan ya, dalam ini dia kena satu objek sahaja, jadi you let Y kena function dalam itu So, y minus 1 equals to 2x. x equals to y minus 1 over 2. Do you understand? Okay, now we go to when you change here. Okay, nampak ni. Tukarkan fy. 
X ini pun you kena tukar dalam sebutan Y yang you dah balancekan tadi. So, ini jadi 4 Y minus 1 over 2 square minus 2 Y minus 1 over 2 and then plus 1 ok now we expand step by step yeah. Y minus 1 square is Y square minus 2Y plus 1 over 4 ok here Y minus 1 sahaja yang tinggal plus 1 Then, yang tinggal hanyalah y square minus 2y plus 1 minus y plus 1 plus 1. Faham? Seterusnya, jadilah y square tolak 3y tambah 3. Jadi, itulah fy. Bila dah dapat fy, you boleh... Dapatlah F X Tukarkan balik sahaja Do you understand that everyone? Alright G F X Here Is What is G here? 2 X plus 1 So 2 F X Plus 1 Nah, you tukarkan fx tu seperti yang diberi ok then expand dia sorry ini bukan 6x square 2x square minus 6x plus 6 plus 1 then you hanya simplify x square minus 6x plus 7 understand? ok the next question is find the values of x that satisfy fgx equal to gfx here fgx bila dia beritahu fgx equal to gfx ok what is fgx tadi? fgx dia dah bagi 4x square minus 2x plus 1 equalkan dengan gfx gfx yang you cari tadi minus 6x plus 7 ok so here equation biasa sahaja you tinggal cari nilai x kumpulkan semua on your left make sure dia samarkan dengan 0 faham? Alright. Now simplify. Lihat dia akan dapat macam ini. Okey. Dan you tengok sifar sama, sifar 2 you boleh simplifykan dia lagi. Okey. Dah tinggal simple macam ini. You factorize untuk mencari nilai x. Okay. Bila dah factorize Tinggal lah X equal to negative 3 X equal to 1 That's how you solve The question on finding the values of X Do you understand? Example 5.15 <coughs> Find the function of GX Given that FX equals to X squared plus 1 X must always greater or equal to 0 and fgx equal to x square minus 2x plus 2 given that x must always greater or equal to 1 so first of all you just write the function given x square minus 2x plus 2 x must always greater or equal to 1 then 
as you can see what you want to find here now is f sorry not fx is gx the object itself inside here so the method is you change the object in fx into gx gx squared plus one from the fx itself understand and then on your right you just copy back the function given okay next what you need to do is you rearranging the equation to make it simple so x squared minus 2x plus 2 minus 1 just basic mathematics until there do you understand then you have learned in chapter 1 you can factorize this quadratic equation into x minus 1 square okay and then since to get the gx only third so x minus 1 square which is x minus 1 given that x must always get to equal to 1 do you understand all right now the exercise they give you the composite function and they ask you to find each of the single function okay and to be in the great outdoor forever free